Hello traders, hope you're doing well. On this YouTube channel, we have published more than hundreds of videos related to stock market. We have discussed a lot about strategies and we have also done market analysis video. But compared to all other video, I would consider this video as one of the most important video. The topic that we are going to discuss today is how to recover the losses that you have done from trading. Now I'm sure many of you who's watching this video, you're watching this only because you have made huge losses in the market or you might be in a situation where you're not able to make consistent profit in the market. There are also chances that you are somewhere at break even. Some days you are making profit and some days you are making loss. Now, if you fall under any one of this category, I would advise you to watch this video with complete focus and attention because this is going to be a power packed video where I will be providing you all the necessary tools and I will be providing you a plan. If you follow this, then you can easily come out of this kind of situation. So please watch this video with complete focus and attention. Everything that I discuss in this video is very important. So watch it without skipping. Let us start. Now traders in stock market, there are two types of traders. One is this 95 to 99% of the people who make consistent losses. Now the second type of people are those that 1 to 5% of the people who make consistent profit in the market. All the statistics and data is saying this itself. 95 to 99% of the traders are in loss. Many of the retail traders fall under this first category. In people who are making losses, here also there are two types. One is those who make minimum loss. Let's say till now in stock market, they would have lost around 5,000 rupees, 10,000 rupees, or maybe even 50,000 rupees. For some people, this 50,000, all this can be huge. But there are second category of people who has made huge losses. That can be, let's say, 1 lakh rupees. It can also be 10 lakh rupees or even more than that. Now, why are majority of retail traders they end up in loss. For this, there might be three reasons according to me. One is they do random trade. They do not have a proper setup. They just take random buy or sell position in the market because of which they make huge losses. Second, they do not have proper risk management. In the stock market, risk management is one of the most important thing. Many people don't have proper risk management. And third category of people is who do not give time for the market. They want to trade, but they are not ready to do the analysis. They fall for this tips or these calls, which a lot of people provide. So many people I know, they have fallen for these calls or intraday tips based on that they take a trade and make huge losses. These three are one of the main reasons why a lot of retail traders are making losses in the market. Let it be this minimal amount or let it be this maximal amount. At some point of time, these people who are making consistent losses, they say that I'm not going to trade anymore because of the fear that they have. This fear, how did it come? It came because of the losses that they made in the market, right? The small losses or big losses. Even though they have fear, they do not leave the market completely. Maybe they're not trading, but what they do is they consistently look at charts, nifty chart, bank nifty chart or stock charts, and they also follow news. Regularly, they keep themselves updated on things related to market. And they also look at lot of YouTube videos. Maybe they watch my videos or there are many channels. They watch that video. They also buy a lot of courses. Now, when they are constantly in touch with the market, what they do is they try to compare their past with the current market. Let's say, for example, today I came and said I will only buy in the market. Here I saw a breakout. I entered the trade. Today we ended up with profit. So this person who's following these YouTube channels or who keeps seeing market analysis video, they get impressed by this. Now, second day, what happens? Let's say I told to buy a put option. I gave all the analysis. Today also the market went as per my view. You can see in my telegram channel how many market analysis I have provided. Consistently, last one week, every trade that we have taken, we have ended up with at least one is to two risk reward, right? Now looking at all these things, this person who had made loss in the market, he thinks now for him, the market is looking very simple. Previously, when he was looking at the market, he was just doing random trade. He did not have proper risk management. He was falling for this tips or calls. But once they spend time on this education, slowly for that person who's making loss, for him market looks very simple. At some point of time, this person who's making losses, he will start thinking that let me give one more try. Okay. They want to give one more try to the market to recover all these losses which they have made in the past. Now traders, those of you who think you are 
ready to re-enter the market and you want to give one more try to the market, then the first question that you need to ask yourself is, are you ready to lose additional 15,000 rupees? This 15,000 rupees is apart from what you lost earlier. I don't know how much you have lost before. It can be 5,000, 10,000, 50,000, 1 lakh, 10 lakh. Apart from that amount, I am telling you should be ready to lose another 15,000. Now, why I say this is because, let's say on Monday, you want to take a trade. Now, there is no guarantee that the trade that you take on Monday, that will be profitable. There is a chance that you make losses. So, you cannot say that you are going to give one more try for the market. You need to give a series of tries. Only then, you will increase the chances of recovering your losses from the market. Alright? So, the question is, are you ready to lose additional 15,000? If the answer is yes, then we will start with the trading plan. Let's follow that plan. After series of tries, we will be able to slowly, we will start recovering our losses. Now, if you think you're not ready to lose 15,000 rupees, then here itself, just think that you're not ready to give one more try to the market. At least 15,000 rupees is needed apart from the losses that you have made to give one more try to the market. Okay. If you're not ready to lose this 15,000 rupees, at least you should be ready to lose 10,000 rupees. Okay. 15,000 rupees or 10,000 rupees, you're, you should be ready to lose. If you're not ready to lose that, then there is no point in re-entering the market because there's no guarantee that the next trade that you take, you will be ending up in profit. There's a chance of being in loss. So those who are ready to lose 15,000 rupees, now we will be discussing about the plan. We are going to discuss about the plan that we need to follow and continuously we need to follow that plan so that we recover our losses. So in the next section, we'll be discussing about the trading plan. Traders, now we have come to the session of training plan. In this session, we'll be discussing about all the rules that we need to follow to increase our accuracy in trading. At the same time, following these rules will help us recover our losses. So what are these rules? Let's discuss all of it one by one. Now the first rule is we will take only one trade per day. Okay. This is the first rule. Now for how many days will we take a trade? We will take trades for 20 days. Okay. So we will trade for 20 days, but we will take only one trade per day. So this need not be continuous days. Let's say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, again Monday, Tuesday, like this you can follow or you can also follow like this. Let's say Monday you got a trading opportunity, you will trade. Tuesday there was no trading opportunity or you did not find any interesting setup or maybe you did not feel like trading. No problem, don't take a trade. Wednesday if you have a trading setup, you take the trade. So like this, either continuously you can take a trade or at random days also you can take. But you should completely take 20 trades and maximum number of trades per day is 1. If you are in profit, book the profit, exit. If you are in loss, book the loss, exit. This is rule number 1. Now let's discuss rule number 2. We will take trades only in Nifty. Okay. We are not going to take trade in bank nifty. We are not going to take trade in stocks, nothing. Only in nifty, we are going to take a trade. For the next 20 trades also, we are going to trade only in nifty. Now, why am I saying we need to take trade only in nifty? Because compared to bank nifty, nifty is less volatile. Since bank nifty includes only banking sector, the volatility in bank nifty is high. But in Nifty, there are stocks from different sectors. Maybe IT index is performing very bad today. But let's say banking sector is performing well. Maybe pharma is performing well today. That time, the market will not be too volatile. Here we have 50 stocks, right? That too from different index. Here only banking. So volatility in bank Nifty is high. So we will not trade in that. We will trade only in Nifty. Now, the second reason why we trade in Nifty is because it is just trading at 17,000. Bank Nifty is trading somewhere around 40,000. So, trading in a lesser point index will also reduce the amount of risk per trade. Now, the third thing that you may need to follow is we will trade only with one lot. So, we trade only with one lot. Alright. So, till now what we have discussed. We will trade only in Nifty. 
that to how much lots one lot for how many days we will trade we will trade for 20 days now comes rule number 4 now the trades that we will take the maximum loss per trade is 700 rupees some time back i told you 15000 rupees we need to have this 15000 rupees is because of this 700 rupees loss per trade so 700 into 20 is somewhere around 14000 rupees additionally we just have 1000 rupees extra in case exactly if 700 rupees we can't exit maybe 750 800 like that if it changes also maximum somewhere around 700 rupees we will exit from the trade so this is our rule number four now rule number five we will trade only on five minutes time frame so five minutes time frame is a very suitable time frame for intraday if you trade on a lower time frame let's say one minute two minutes or three minutes in that there are chances that you will enter a trade where you get false breakout so that is the reason five minutes is ideal for intraday where you will get good setup with less false breakouts so this is the time frame that we are going to trade in now coming to rule number six now the rule number six is we will trade only in atm or itm strike price we will choose those premiums which is somewhere around 150 rupees so any strike price which is trading close to 150 rupees you get a lot of quality strike prices in at the money or in the money strike price level which trades at 150 rupees right so we will choose strike price which is at the money or in the money which is trading close to 150 rupees now if you consider 150 rupees as the base premium value which you are entering the trade into nifty lot size which is 50 this comes somewhere around 7500 so the 7500 will be the capital that you will be using for the trade and in your dmat account you will have additional 15000 rupees because end of this 20 trading days the 7500 rupees capital will still be there in your dmat account if you stick to all the rules that we have discussed maximum if you lose 700 rupees there is no chance that you will lose even this amount additionally here also we have extra 1000 rupees which can go for brokerage also so for your trade you will be needing 7500 as the capital to buy at the money strike price plus maximum risk that you will be taking is 15000 rupees in this 20 days which is 700 rupees per trade so in your dmat account you should have somewhere around 22500 rupees so traders let's quickly discuss all the rules of this trading plan rule number one you will be taking one trade per day for the next 20 trading days it can be continuous days or you can skip some days also second thing you will take trade only in nifty and maximum you will trade with one lot the stop loss will be 700 rupees at maximum per trade and you will find trading setup on a five minutes time frame and whenever you enter the trade you will choose a strike price which is close to 150 rupees that strike price has to be somewhere at at the money or in the money strike price so these are all the rules for the trading plan now how do you find setup let's discuss about that in the next session now traders in this session we are going to discuss about trading setup trading setup now before we discuss about trading setup there are some important points which i would like to discuss the first thing is in the previous session i said 7500 is the capital that you need to keep in your dmat account of course we all know that in dmat account we keep only stocks i'm just referring to the 7500 as the capital that you need to keep in your trading account with the help of this capital you will execute the orders along with the 7500 rupees you will be keeping 15000 rupees as the extra amount which you are ready to lose maximum we will lose per trade is 700 rupees and this you multiply by 20 trading days it comes somewhere around 14000 rupees this extra 1000 rupees might be for broke or for the taxes that you have to pay or you might come across a situation where instead of 700 rupees as SL you might have to keep 1000 rupees as a risk for that particular trade because the reasonable stop loss level you're getting somewhere around let's say 20 points so 20 into the lot size of nifty is 1000 right so there might be some trades where you have to keep a stop loss of thousand rupees that time we have no other option to keep that stop loss same way in some trades the stop loss might just be five to ten points that time stop loss will just be 
500 rupees maximum so this will average out some way or the other so don't worry about that now next thing i wanted to speak about is i told you have to choose itm or atm strike price which is close to 150 rupees now you might come across a situation where at the money strike price is trading somewhere around 170 or 180 rupees just as an example i am saying we should not think too much whichever is the at the money strike price we are going to execute the order with that if you are getting an in the money strike price somewhere at 150 premium then we can go with that no problem so i think i have clarified most of the doubts that you have now coming to the topic of trading setup now when it comes to a trading setup it depends on personal preference some people prefer to trade with indicators they're comfortable with that some people prefer price action or some people will look at the premium based on that they will take a trade so there are many trading setup trading setup differs from person to person depending on their trading style now me personally I prefer price action. I'm comfortable with price action trading. So if I'm in your situation, I want to trade in Nifty. I will look for any price action setup. For example, let's say I decided that I will follow all the rules. I will enter the trade only when I find a double top in the market. When market comes down, breaks this level, we'll keep stop loss at this area and then we will try to capture the momentum towards the downside or let's say i prefer to trade at w pattern this is a bullish type of pattern in the market so when market breaks this level i'll keep in stop loss i will enter the trade i will try to capture the momentum or let's say i only try to trade with breakout for example i drew a trend line like this i got a breakout here this was with good volume i enter the trade keeping my stop loss here so like this there are many ways a person can trade no one can tell anyone what is suitable for them only thing what we can provide is guide them now for example let's say if i was in your situation i saw the market moving towards the upside so here let's say i prefer to trade at double top pattern when market went towards the upside here it came down again when i saw market was not able to reach this level it moved towards the downside breaking this level maybe stop loss at this area or stop loss at this area i would enter the trade and i will try to exit the trade somewhere at these levels first target this is the second target now second time i saw the market moving towards the upside came down again it tried to break this level but sellers entered so when market broke this level kept my stop loss here tried to capture this momentum towards the downside where this will be the first target if you held on to the trade you will be able to book a bigger target this is also a price action setup let's say i tried the setup here market went up came down again when market went up from here it showed bearish confirmation i entered the trade here keeping my stop loss here but market did not go down it went and hit my stop loss that is okay because here when i'm making profit i'm making at least one is to three sometimes one is to four risk reward when i'm losing i'm losing small amount here you see market went up came down again at this level market went up maybe i will consider this as double top what is the resistance if i'm entering the trade here this place market went down at this level maybe we exited the trade or we held on to the position if you had exited the trade here maybe we would have got just one is to one risk reward if you had not exited the trade we would have booked our loss i hope you remember i took this trade on wednesday we all booked one is to two risk reward correct because here itself i decided to enter the trade so i was easily able to achieve the target by keeping a small stop loss correct so we need to identify a setup when we are losing we lose just little and when we make money we make at least two three or four times by this what will happen is let's say you took 20 trades in 20 trades whenever you lost you are losing 700 rupees whenever you're making profit you are making 2100 rupees I'm just giving you an example this is the risk per trade that we decided 700 rupees is the risk profit is 2100 rupees now let's say out of this 20 trades that we are going to take in the coming days let's say 10 trades we lost 700 rupees so this is somewhere around 7000 rupees loss and the balance 10 trade we made let's say at least 2000 rupees profit 10 into 2000 it is 20000 here i lost 7000 balance how much i got is 13000 let's say for brokerage and other expenses i lost around 2000 rupees for that also balance how much is it 11000 rupees right so with the capital of 7500 rupees i was able to make 11000 rupees return here what is the win ratio it is just 50% if you are just 
करेक्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम यू विल बी एट इलेवन थाउजेंड प्रॉफिट एज पर दिस एग्जाम्पल नाउ इवन एट फोर्टी परसेंट सक्सेस रेट इफ यूर रिस्क रिवॉर्ड इज वन इज टू थ्री समटाइम्स यू होल्ड ऑन टू द ट्रेड लाइक दीज वन इज टू फोर बाई द एंड ऑफ द मंथ यू विल बी प्रॉफिटेबल बिकॉज वेन यूर लूजिंग यूर लूजिंग लेस सेवन हंड्रेड रुपीज और मैक्सिमम थाउजेंड रुपीज बट वेन यूर विनिंग यू आर मेकिंग थ्री टाइम्स द अमाउंट इवन दो द विन एक्यूरेसी इज फोर्टी परसेंट थर्टी फाइव परसेंट स्टिल यू विल एंड अप इन प्रॉफिट ओनली थिंग दैट यू नीड टू कीप इन योर माइंड इज यू नीड टू एग्जिट एज पर योर रिस्क कैपेसिटी यू नीड टू टेक ओनली वन ट्रेड पर डे डजेंट मैटर द फर्स्ट फाइव ट्रेड यू आर लूजिंग द सिक्स ट्रेड ऑल्सो यू नीड टू फॉलो द रूल्स यू शुड नॉट कीप चेंजिंग योर ट्रेडिंग प्लान All these things are important, and always remember this. Just taking one or two trades doesn't give any kind of result. You have to take series of trades. Now, traders, trust me. Once you completely take all the twenty trades, and you stick to the stop loss, and you hold on to the winning trades, definitely you will see significant results. What was missing for you in the past is the rules. It is not a secret strategy. You sticking to the rules, respecting the rules, following the rules, and continuously taking repetitive trade without thinking too much and exiting the trade as per your risk capacity. This is all required. Okay. Now traders coming to the final points. Once you decide that you want to re-enter the market, you need to stick to the rules. Okay. What are all the rules? I have already discussed about it. Rather than me repeating about it again, just go back and look into all those six rules. Second thing, don't doubt yourself. You have decided that you know you want to re-enter the market. Don't give it a second thought. If you are ready to lose the fifteen thousand rupees, follow all the rules. Just go ahead. Rule number three: Once you start, you are not going to stop until you complete the twenty trades. Make sure only one trade per day. this will allow you to be in the market and trade for the next 20 days now anyone who's ready to follow this after 20 days just keep a journal of all your trades i will give you one on one consultation for free any problems that you have with the setup any correction that you need to do with the setup with all that i will give you the support but you need to take 20 trades follow all the rules that we have discussed only then you will get this free consultation this is my promise now traders i have put a lot of effort in making this video i have tried to keep it as simple as possible i know sometimes i keep on repeating the same thing again and again because please understand different age group people are watching these videos for some people they might grasp very quickly and for some people only if you repetitively tell them they'll be able to understand let us all learn together let us all earn together that's the motto of this channel now traders if you think the content what i have put today is useful then please like the video subscribe to the channel if you think this kind of video will be useful for your friends please share it with them after watching this video just leave a comment in the comment section below your comments and feedback is what keeps me motivated to make such videos so traders i hope this video was useful thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one